bonding time, isn't it? It is, but there's lots of feeding that goes on. I mean, hey, kids Mom. kids yeah. eat between um, six to twelve hours in a day. That's a lot of time. Between and, six and, and twelve. So hours. the time that you have to spend sometimes, it's not just the feeding, but the holding them, the burping them, and all. So you have of to that. learn to multitask. So you do have to learn to multitask, and I do think that there is time to put the iPhone away. I absolutely believe okay. that. But there are some moments. Where you may just need to check an email. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alabama's mom of the year. I, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll go with that. How about our weather then? I'll, I'll just segue to weather. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we're going to see mostly sunny skies this morning across central Alabama, but that could be changing. I don't want to bury the lead here. Let's talk right about. Well, let's talk, get right to it. Rain. Everyone is thinking, oh, are we going to see some wet stuff today? And I want to show you where it is right now. There's a few little specks on our radar in Mississippi. Otherwise, just a couple of clouds rolling into West Alabama, staying clear east of 65. But we will notice those clouds beginning to move in. And then here's what we're looking at from your storm track radar. Lots of rain back to our west. But the question is, is it going to make it to Alabama? Some heavier rainfall, some thunderstorms moving their way out of Arkansas and southeast Missouri into West Tennessee near Memphis. And then that rain stretches all the way back into northern Louisiana and East Texas. It's a great sight to see on the radar, but we just wish that that rain would kind of move over into Alabama. As far as the rain in Mississippi, there's some small areas of rain that could slide into northwest Alabama. I think that anywhere from Lamar County all the way up towards Marion County, that's about our best bet for seeing some showers today. Let me put it this way. If you see the rain today, consider yourself one of the lucky few because I don't think the rain is going to be widespread. And I think the rain is going to be pretty short lived if we see any at all. Looking at temperatures this morning, it's a bit more mild out there. And that's because we are starting to get some of this lower level moisture that's beginning to move in. That's keeping dew points up and that's keeping those air temperatures from falling so low. So 60s in Birmingham. And we're looking at upper 50s in Hamilton, Tuscaloosa, and Coleman. And looking at your day hour by hour, we'll stay in the 60s through mid morning, low to mid 70s for your lunch hour, the latter half of the day. I still think temperatures warm into the mid 80s late this afternoon. Maybe not near as high as we were yesterday, but we are still going to see a bit of that trend continue. And then we could see a chance overnight tonight through tomorrow. Again, the chance of rain is so small. I almost don't want to put it in the forecast because. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, really. And then those temperatures back off just to touch this weekend as that cold front moves through. But check this out. We are in for a warm up next week, back into the mid 80s, and we stay that way through the middle of the week. But there could be some changes as we round out by the end of next week. And that is a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Art.